What's up guys, I'm Max, this is Max Works, and today we're going to be reviewing and installing a Boost Auto Parts GM dual function wiring kit. Now what this kit is going to do is it's going to allow the uh, turn signal, the outside flashers on my tow mirrors to act either as turn signals or as DRLs uh, at night so that they're on and you can better see the truck uh, outside. This video is sponsored by Boost Auto Parts, they did send me this for free. Um, but I will be doing an honest review and installation of this product and it's definitely one of those things where um, everything in this kit looks like it's pretty quality made and if the part works then you know it's a, it's a pretty good idea. You can check them out at BoostAutoParts.com. They sell a variety of styles for tow mirrors for General Motors uh, trucks as well as cool uh, wiring harnesses and parts. And you can retrofit this to a set of uh, eBay tow mirrors like I have, or you can go ahead and get this pre-installed on your tow mirrors from BoozeAutoParts.com. Um, I'll put some links down in the description below, so make sure you go and check them out. Uh, but I'm going to get this opened up and we're going to start pulling apart the truck. First thing we got to do is get the uh, inner door panel off so that we can remove the mirror. Um, and so you're going to have the little tabby up here, you're going to have a tab down to remove that piece and you're going to have a tab in here to remove this guy. Uh, then it's just a set of screws and we can take, a, take this whole door card uh, right off. Before we get to the screws, you're going to want to take this off and you're going to want to unplug these connectors so that we can remove this whole assembly. There are three 10 millimeter screws, one here and two down in there. And at this point, you can just begin prying the door panel off, and that's what we're going to do next. Now, since uh, you can disconnect this, this is the, uh, the door release. I'm just leaving it hanging. This isn't very heavy, and all we need to access is right here, these three screws, and this will allow us to remove the, uh, the window from the door. There we go. It's removed with those three nuts. Now, this is my uh, backup light. Uh, when I installed mine originally, I soldered it in. I didn't use the connector because I didn't have a, um, the other half of it. Um, so we'll have to cut and re-solder these again. But it's off of the truck now and over here on our workbench. So now we can get to the process of disassembling this guy in order to install these. Okay, guys. So now we have our uh, side mirror out. Well, what you're going to want to do is you're going to push this down like this all the way four fingers underneath the glass and just gently pry up on it and then your glass pops out it's just held in on these clips um, so it's not too big of a deal to get it pulled out and you're gonna see in here we have these two wires which are for the heater and then this plug right here, which is for the uh, inside turn signal. So now that the glass is out, we're just going to set it aside. Now we have to remove this bottom piece. It's going to be kind of the same process. It just pops right out. And now we're going to have to get a screwdriver and remove these guys. There's four screws in here. Uh, so we're going to pull them out next. Having unscrewed that this should come off and we can unplug the backup lights that are right there set this off to the side as well and now we have access to this whole back area um, including where this LED is down here uh, if you can see that in the camera and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna unplug that little blue LED wires and this is where we're gonna do all of our magic all right, the next thing we're going to do is set this on the floor because I'm right in the table space and pull this manually all the way apart. Um, having done that, you can see in here, um, what the fuck this thing's problem is, I'll set this aside for now. You see in here, there's these two little divots. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to pop this top cover off. And just slide it out and what this allows us to do is get access to this wire channel um, so that we can pass the connection wire all the way through in there so now we're gonna take the first part of our harness um, and so now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece of wire and we're gonna run it through 
the back side the same way that the stock wiring is run. And this is going to provide the uh, 12 volt signal for our daytime running light. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this blue wire and we're going to cut it, black and blue wires. These are the ones that went to that turn signal. We're going to set the little pigtail aside. Now this black wire is no longer used. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to fold it in on itself and we're going to put a piece of heat shrinking over it. Boom. So that way no water or anything is going to get into there. That wire is out of the way. So next thing we got to install our little brain box here. And so the blue wire is going to go to the blue wire. And so we're going to grab this guy and strip back a little bit of wire like that wrap it up and blue goes to blue and we're gonna put it inside this connector right like so all the way in and I have these these are crimpers and now we're just gonna melt this heat shrink real quick it's a nice solid connection and now this orange wire that we brought in here this orange wire is gonna go into this side of the crimp there's that and we can heat shrink this end as well. And so now we can kind of pull this through a little bit. It's not taking up as much space. And now we can attach this plug back in here. So that's what we're going to do. So now we have this guy stripped back and we're going to put the orange end that's remaining into our blue wire that goes to our connection and we're going to crimp that down and also in this kit you have this little um, black pigtail this is going to go on to here and we're going to use this t-tap to tap into one of these black wires over here in order to get our ground so we're going to use this this is the backup light and it's the gray wire we're just going to fold this uh, tap onto it and I always use a pair of pliers to uh, massage it into place. You hear that click. Um, and now over here we take this piece that we have and I just want to take a moment right now to point out that like as far as quality goes these wires and crimps that are provided are really pretty top dollar and uh, like you know they could be a lot cheaper and a lot thinner wire and it would probably still work but you can tell that the guy that put this together, you know, wasn't screwing around with it. So now this T-tap simply pops into here. Uh, normally I think it's supposed to click. There we go. And so now we have our full circuit and this plug goes in like this. It goes in like this. And now we're all set up and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up some of these wires so that this stuff is kind of um, out of the way. So reassembly was just the opposite of installation. Um, really pretty straightforward. And so now what we got to do is we got to get this thing back on the truck and wire up the other side of it. Okay, everything is bolted in and we've used this extension. Um, and run the wire down through the main grommet and out into here. Now we just gotta find a place with switch power to attach this, uh, but first I'm gonna reassemble this door real quick. We've run the wire inside. This is the signal line to my subwoofer. Um, it's basically just what I'm gonna use to tap in for the uh, 12 volt on this side, and we're gonna reassemble all this. And this is the 12 volt for the other side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap into the subwoofer line behind the head unit, and then uh, put everything kind of back so let's take a look at our result here. Um, so right now the key is in the ignition. See these LEDs are lit up. If I reach in here, hit the turn signal, you can see this is still flashing. Um, that's basically what this guy is supposed to be able to do. So whenever the truck is running, you now have these daytime running lights. Um, the only real negative side effect was these guys have been sitting in the sun for the best part of eight or nine months now. and um, I managed to break the back side of this glass. So Boost Auto Parts does carry a line of replacement glass and I'm gonna reach out to them and see if I can get a new piece. But uh, if you 
Leave your truck out in the sun here in Texas like I do. This might be something you want to consider before buying uh, a kit like this. Guys, first of all, I want to thank Boost Auto Parts for uh, sending out this module for me to evaluate. Um, so let me start with facts and then I'll kind of move to opinions. Uh, fact, everything in this kit um, is top notch. Uh, you know, the coating on the wire, um, the quality of the wire, the thickness of the wire is definitely overkill for what it is. Um, and it's good to see that, you know, you want to see a quality product. Uh, the heat shrinking was all on point. The electronics are fully sealed. The, um, the crib connectors are heat shrink crib connectors, which are uh, definitely more expensive than base crib connectors uh, that don't have heat shrinking on them. Um, the packaging is excellent. Uh, I, I got the item for free again, but I went through kind of the standard process. So I got the shipping notifications and everything. And uh, here in Texas, at least, <clears throat> here in Texas, it shipped quickly. It was here in like two or three days after, after it had shipped. Um, and so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the installation is fairly straightforward. There's nothing really uh, tricky. If you follow this video, uh, Boost Auto Parts has their own installation video as well that kind of mimics this. And uh, if you just follow along, it's really pretty trivial to do. Those are kind of the facts. The facts are that I, I give this 100% A plus rating as a product. Now, on the opinion side, is this something I would necessarily buy for myself if it hadn't been made available to me? Probably not. Um, it's a cool little feature and it gives your truck a little bit more of an OEM look, but it did take me almost two hours to install all of this um, because you had to track down the wiring because I wanted everything to be clean. And on top of that, I actually broke the glass, or I didn't break the glass, but I broke the mounting piece on the driver's side uh, glass. So now I have to pay and go and replace that. Like I have it glued in temporarily. It's really kind of a, kind of a pain in the butt. Um, partially that is because these uh, windows, uh, these mirrors on my truck sit in the Texas sun all day. Uh, they're, they just, you know, plastic deteriorates over time. And something like this where you have to pull everything apart is, um, I mean, this is just the price you pay. So I'm going to see if I can track down a replacement set. I know Boost Auto Parts sells replacement glass. Um, if I can make that work, I will. If I can't, I'll just buy another set of mirrors probably. Um, but that being said, um, you know, the product is as advertised. It does work really well. It does do what it says it will do. Uh, and you can pick up a set at BoostAutoParts.com. You can follow them on Instagram at BoostAutoParts. Um, this is, uh, again, a sponsored video. They sent me this thing for free, so I tested it out for you guys. Um, and every communication I've had with the company has been excellent and professional. So really, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend uh, any of you guys go out and buy their products. Um, but if you do do this specific installation, especially if you're retrofitting a set of eBay um, mirrors like I was, keep in mind that over time plastic is going to degrade and it's going to make it harder uh, and the chances of it breaking go up dramatically. Uh, that being said, my name is Max. This is MaxWorks. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all at MaxWorks. I love you guys. Peace.